Polls show the race to represent Nevada in the U.S. Senate is really tightening. National Republicans are now pouring money to support their candidate, Sam Brown. But his opponent, incumbent Democrat Senator Jackie Rosen, says the issues are on her side. 8 News Now investigator David Charnes uh, catching up with both campaigns in the final days of this race. We are the boxing capital of the world. Democratic Senator Jackie Rosen gets a pair of boxing gloves and an endorsement from the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare. Everything we fought for, everything we voted for, everything is on, on the line. Everything's at stake. At stake and the highlight of an event Wednesday, benefits to seniors and former President Donald Trump's plan to abolish the Affordable Care Act. Rosen says a Senator Sam Brown would be a vote to repeal it. When you take that away and Donald Trump himself says, well, maybe I have a concept of a plan. They actually don't even have a plan. Can you imagine now, and I wouldn't ask anyone their health condition, but can you imagine that something would happen to you and for the rest of your life you are branded? Denied, denied, denied. Brown campaigning Tuesday with Montana Republican Senator Steve Daines as national Republicans put more money behind Brown in an attempt to unseat Rosen. People are entrusting me to be a good steward of American lives, American resources, uh, their families. Uh, that's something that is extremely humbling to me. Both races focusing on the economy and seniors, but with different messages. Rosen highlighting record job growth, corporate greed, and cooling inflation. Brown, government spending in the cost of living. When we're spending $1,200 a month more now than we were four years ago on just the essentials, mm. that's shameful. When I talk to seniors who've had to leave retirement and go back and get a job just to make ends meet, mm. That's shameful. With days left in this race, both campaigns are hopeful their message will resonate with undecided voters. People feel like the American dream is slipping away. And if I can, if I, through my, my background uh, and my leadership and the things that I would want to lead on and propose, uh, give someone that sense of, of hope, then then I'd say that's, that's, we need more of that in politics. Do we want to invest in our kids or do we want to eliminate the Department of Education? Do we want to be sure that we have clean air and clean water or we, do we want to eliminate the Environmental Protection Agency? Do we want to be sure our parents and grandparents are taken care of or do we want to get rid of Social Security and Medicare? Now, keep in mind, in 2022, Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto won re-election by just 8,000 votes or 1%. And that is reminding both campaigns just how close things could be this time.